Welcome back to my channel. This is episode two in building Ralph Reed's Missing Studios. Now, for those of you who have already watched episode one and you kind of saw that it was a raw business deal and you reached out with kindness and thoughtful words, thank you. I am really trying to come at this at a place of gratitude that I am so lucky that all of this is getting fixed and all of your good energy is being put to good use. So thank you and let's dive into episode two. So the house is an older house and it has a series of add-ons. This means that I have roofs that are at several different heights. There's the laundry room roof, which still needs removal, and of course the studio roof that we removed in episode one already. Now, in between these is a wall, a wall where most of the water damage has occurred, and of course, water brings out termites. So to get at all of this, we started out by removing some of the siding of the house as well as the metal roof. For me, this means that I installed my own personal Stairmaster in episode one because my job is to carry all of the pieces down for stacking in the backyard. Wouldn't you know it, underneath there is another asphalt and rock roof. My job is to be on cleanup duty on these days. So you can see my contractor ripping off parts of the roof and it's my job to get these out onto the trailer and stacked up. Now. Wouldn't you know it, as soon as we get all of that roof ripped off, it starts to rain. And I'm not just talking a little bit of rain, but enough to make my studio where we have removed the original floor so it's lower, a cocoa-sized swimming pool. Now, I'm from Portland, Oregon, so a little bit of rain is not going to stop me from getting any work done. I mean, every day it feels like it rains in Portland. We use this time to go pick up some doors for the studio, but also for a couple other projects that are happening in the house. We installed the doors in the other portion of the house, which means that my front porch turned into a sawmill and a jungle because inside the house, there is so much dust that the plants cannot live inside. <laughs> The original laundry room ceiling had a drop ceiling when I purchased it. This is the way that the previous owners were able to cover up a lot of the water damage that was happening as well as the electrical. So once we got that down, we were able to see that there was a beautiful beadboard ceiling. The sun came out and we were able to remove that beadboard ceiling, which meant that doing laundry in the laundry room was a fresh outdoor experience with a large skylight. Now it's my job to help build the ceiling slash floor that is going to be another portion of the upstairs studio space that is coming. So, I mean, I'm getting close with the miter saw. At this point, we are best friends and you can tell because all of the little boards for the bracing, I cut each of those for the entire future studio floor. From there, we carried up the subflooring so that uh, yeah, again, I'm at the gym so that I can have a studio space that is all level at this point. And let me just say, I have added 512 square feet to my house at this point. I know you're all concerned, so let's check in with Coco. She has an original window to the house where she can come and greet us and see what's happening on the renovations. Oh, are you upset we're out here working? Now, at this point, we decided it was time to uncover the wall and really see what was back inside there. And sure enough, we were not disappointed. The entire wall was damaged and needed removal. And then it was my moment to shine. Once that old wall was picked up and cleared away, we used the original materials from the original studio space that were still viable to build a new wall and drywall it in. Then we can focus on the new studio space walls. So you can see I'm back at it with a miter saw and my contractor Steven is building the walls and it takes a little bit of teamwork, but we're gonna lift those new walls into place. Once we got that first wall up, it was just going and working your way around the room and building the rest of the walls so that the whole studio space is coming together. 
Okay, this is where we're at right now. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I will talk to you soon. Bye.